Hello everyone, this is The Breit. Um, it's been a while since I've done a review video or, you know, like a, a video where I talk about stuff. I'm going to start going through different Tamas that I have and talk a little bit about them. I thought I would go through a, um, a run through of starting it up. So right now we have a little egg. And I'm going to tell it to reset from the last time that I played. Uh, it doesn't really matter the date. There. We'll just say that's the time. No, we'll just say that's my birthday. Okay, and it's going to go through its little birthy process, so I'll start this back up whenever it hatches. Okay, and it should be hatching here in a second. Oh, it looks like we got a little girl. Isn't that cute? So then, to name her, um, you have to go through the um, Hiragana. Uh, it's the Hiragana chart. I think it's on Wikipedia is what I use, but it's the the order they go through for Hiragana. So I'm just going to call her I, which is uh, love, which is just A, and then A, uh, E. So you kind of go A, uh, E, U, E, O, Kaki, Ku, Ke, Ko for anyone who's ever studied Japanese. So I'm just going to call her that just for something quick. So while I wait on her to become a toddler so we can open up some of the other uh, menu options, I can uh, talk a little bit more about this exact version. This is the um, Tamagotchi Ketai Akai and uh, its predecessor was the Ketai and um, it is the its equivalent for the US would have been the V3 this one came out a little afterward and as you can tell it's a little different because it has red pixels they modified some of the characters a bit so there are some that are exclusive to this Tama like I know one of the toddlers is a little cherry which is really cute um, but I really like this one the, the only reason you don't really see too many logs online about this one is because its pixels are really hard to take photos of and I know I'm not in the best light right now but you can still kind of see what's on the screen. and But it is really hard to photograph, so you don't really see many people logging them because it is just so hard to see. It's not as easy as the black pixels. But it is a really endearing Tama, and this is probably one of my favorites. This first icon is for the uh, stats. So we've got food and happiness. There's discipline and money. The age and uh, weight and then sex and generation. Second icon, the top one is food, so you've got rice. I'm gonna guess that's a pizza. I, you, it could be a pie, I don't know why you'd have pie as a meal. Uh, I think that's a shrimp sushi, and I'm gonna guess that's a radish or a turnip. It's kind of dark for a turnip, but... And uh, back to rice again. And then the second option is the snack. There's watermelon, and this is actually a glass of wine. If you give it to them, they'll get sick and like dizzy and throw up because you're not supposed to give alcohol to kids, and it should be kind of obvious. Um, then there's the sundae and a peach. The, set, the third icon is the toilet. She's about ready to poop. Yay, I caught her! So now she's on the little potty. The fourth icon is the games. So on this first game, the idea is you don't catch the money because these are little trash cans at the bottom so you want to catch the poops because you don't want to throw away money and there's big poops and small poops the small poops are worth one point the big poops are worth two let's see so there's money there we don't want to catch that and the idea is to get to 100 and then here's the second one this is a mail game so you want to hit the mail into the mailbox. It goes up and in. The idea with this is to hit it just as the top of the envelope starts to move past the top bar. At least that's how I do it and I can get through the whole game. And this last game I have a hard time with. We got third place, we suck. Yeah, but the idea is just to hit the buttons like um back and forth that way she can get her energy going and swim but you know obviously I really suck at that you know what forget it I am going to beat this game so yeah you're just gonna have to sit back and I'm gonna beat this freaking game 
Oh, so you don't want to play now? Oh, no, no, we're not doing this. No. You eat that freaking watermelon, and then we're going to go and win a swimming race, all right? Maybe you'll get a Sunday afterward if you win. I'm a terrible mother, aren't I? Oh, there's another cherry cheese. Okay, we're going to say we're going to get first place, all right? Because we're going to do this. All right, here we go. Ah! Go as fast as we can! Get your little butt going in that water, you hear me? We're going to win! Ah! Going as fast as I can! And I'm probably going to fail. Oh my gosh, here we go! Yay! That's right! It's because you're a winner. You're not getting that ice cream sundae, though, because you need to stay fit to swim. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna make her fat. <laughs> this I can't open yet until she turns into a toddler. Um, there's the discipline icon. So the top is discipline, the bottom is praise. And this is the medicine icon for when she's sick. And that's the light to turn it on and off when she's sleeping. And then this, I can't get into it yet because she's a baby and she's the first generation, but this has different information like um, items that you purchase because there are codes that you can put in to get special items. So you access those items through this menu. You can also see previous generations. And there's one on here like this. You can donate points to like the Gachi King. And yeah, I can't enter these yet. So... Um, as you get through the game, you'll be able to access more of those. Oh, apparently she's going to play a game in a bag. I do not remember this animation. Wow, it's been too long since I've played this thing. Okay, so she played in a bag and then fell on her face. I, get, I guess I didn't get the smartest Tama in the bunch. But um, once it's, it's kind of neat for this little icon because you unlock different things as you play. And so that's kind of neat to go through periodically as you're playing different generations and see what kind of goodies have opened up. So now I'm just going to wait until she turns into a toddler so I can go through the connection menu. If you catch them while they're doing the little I have to poop dance, which the only thing I can think of when they're doing that, it looks like they're trying to push it out at that moment. And I'm always like, so I guess like in the game, am I supposed to be like picking her up and like running towards the toilet and throwing her on top of it? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And it always drives me nuts that they do that as adults. I'm like, you know what? Quit crapping on the carpet. That'd be great. Like, you can go get a job, you can go to school, but you can't quit crapping on the carpet. So, let's see if we can get into this connection menu now. Yay! So that's how you connect. You see the little heart? That's how you connect to the rest of the, um... Let's see. The, uh, series. And one of them, I'd have to, you, I'll put up some resources on it, but one of them is actually to connect to um, cell phones to download different items, which was kind of neat. That might have been the top one, and then this one. There's a couple of them. There's two different options. There's one to, like, connect to the older connections, and then one to connect to the newer ones. And then, um, let's see... This one, you can go in, yeah, there's the, where you can put in cell phone codes, and there's, I'll actually post resources for the codes that you can put in to get special items, and, um, I think this is how you connect to, like, world stuff, but we can't, well, we can't do any of that right now, but, um, so it's pretty cool, there's a lot of different connection stuff on there, and then there is the old man Tamagotchi that comes along, um, every so often through the day, and you'll be able to buy items off of him with the points that you raise, so that's pretty cool. Um, all in all, this is, oh, there she goes, she's gonna blow a bubble. And it's gonna go BAM right on her face. This particular design, though, I think is pretty neat. I've had a lot of people ask me about it, so that's why I thought I would talk about a little bit about it. Um, it's pretty popular, but for some reason it's been hard to find, and a, a lot of people have been looking for it. Um, this thing on the screen's a little screen protector I've had on there, so it's not something that's wrong with the screen. But, um, if you can, let me see if I can focus on that close. Yeah, you can see it's like a little, um, like a Viking skull, but it's like a cyclops, and it's got like a little eye heart, and then, you know, Tamagotchi and the little gold, which was pretty cool. And it's purple, which is like my favorite. So, but yeah, I really liked this design. I got this, oops, I'm not focusing. I got this from Jason's store probably, oh my, five years ago? six years ago? No, 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 I'd say, f no, I'd say five years ago, five or six years ago. I guess it's the really cool thing about this is that it's just, it's 
the pixels are really endearing. It's the only one that has the red pixels like that. Um, it's very close to the V3, has really cute options on it. Um, I personally like it better than the V3s. The only problem is, is that it's really hard to see the screen because of the red pixels. I wish they'd made them a little darker, but then again, I don't really know that much about the LCD technology that they use in these older screens. So, um, But I will have resources posted in the description. Also, I will have it on uh, the post on my webpage. Um, if you guys need any more information, you can always visit that or visit Tomazone and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys later.